hi everyone this is colette welcome back to my channel um i'm not wearing any makeup yet i just kind of shaded my brows a little bit and did a primer on my eyes a liner there and some lip gloss um today's video is going to be a um haul video and i wanted to do the haul video because i purchased a few things so some came in um, literally just now and then I looked around and I realized so you have a, you have some stuff to share it's not gonna be like a really really long video but I prefer to probably do a haul video maybe once a month or twice a month um, depending on how things go because I don't shop as often as I used to before I try to be more selective with my purchases but I've been purchasing a mishmash of different things, including household items, health related items, not just beauty and skincare. So one of the things I've been purchasing that I have not shown you guys is um, black seed oil. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you would have, you see me share those things there. What I did purchase, um, and that I use, I take it internally and I also use it on my skin, the black seed oil. Um, I moved the bottle, I have two bottles, but I just took the other one out of the bedroom. But um, if you want more information on the black seed oil, I'll do a video on that for you guys. But in the meantime, you can research it and there are tons of videos right here on YouTube where others have been speaking of the benefits of black seed oil and what it does for them per se. Oh, by the way, I just polished my nails yesterday and they're chipped off already don't judge me okay that's why I don't like nail polish I have a ton of them but I I, I can't anyway so in the line of black seed oil skincare taking care of your body um, I also picked up a vitamin C serum from Amazon I chose this one because it wasn't too expensive and frankly I'm like down to here on the bottle and I use it um, about three, four times a week. Sometimes I do it morning and night. Sometimes I just do it once a day, you know, especially at night. And I like to use it when I'm going to bed because when I use my Retin-A, then I find that when my skin is peeling, this seems to help. So I pretty much use it for that purpose. Um, I've been using also oil of oregano extract. It looks like that in this bottle. And this is not a sponsored video, y'all. I'm just sharing with you the things that I've been purchasing. Um, this is a constant repurchase for me. I've gone through, I think, two bottles already. It really does work for me. Again, I'm not gonna sit here and give you a long video about the benefits of oil of oregano. Look it up, research it, Google, and so on. If you have questions, though, feel free to ask. But this is something I've been using as a staple. Um, not daily daily but at least a few times a week or two weeks on and then off okay so I'm guessing that y'all here for mostly the makeup right <laughs> I also purchased a, a dehydrator food dehydrator and um, a few other kitchen things like a mandolin and, and a few other things so without further ado let's start the makeup thing I um went to Ulta the other day to pick up something didn't get what I went for which was the Juvia's Place Warrior palette but I don't know I decided I was gonna pick up this um, mascara from Essence and I also picked up a peach powder let me grab the peach powder real quick I left it in the drawer so I picked up this. I kind of like it. It's the mascara I've been wearing for the last few days. Um, I also picked up the Essence Brighten Up Peach Powder. Guys, I like this. I like this under the eyes. I have not used it entirely on my face, but I use it with one of the Beauty Blender sponges. This one is dirty. And I just use it to set my concealer. And you can see that I've been using it it is really nice it does not leave a white cast and it does set under the eye and it's peach so it just settles in and corrects and just does its thing I like this a lot all right 
um, other things I've been picking up from the drugstore since I started with Essence. You guys know I had stopped using um, Revlon foundations for a long time. But then I saw this full coverage thing that they came out with. Um, I know Maybelline also has one. So I decided to pick up this color and try it. What I'll say about it is that it stays when I do extra steps in setting and um, priming my face, which I'm not a lover of priming my face in any case, but this shade is in, what is this, Cafe? Yeah, Cafe is usually, or Toast, they call it Toast. My shade in Revlon is usually Toast. So this is Toast, and that's the shade I've been using. It's all right, I'm, I'll just keep it, whatever. But I'm not that crazy about it. Also from the drugstore, Wet n Wild came out with a Game of Thrones collection. I did not pick up everything. I did pick up a few lippies, but I didn't put bring them all out because I wasn't gonna share everything, I told you guys. But I was intrigued with the um, highlighters. This one, I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow and this one as a highlighter. Uh, Winter, Winter Falls in LA is this one. And I just like the pattern, but the pattern is already going. And it looks like that. It has a slightly, like a blue shift to it. Can you see the blue shift going on? Yes, kind of like that. And this one is blue, and this one is um, Halo Walkers. And as you can see, anywhere I've touched it, you know, the, the, the engraving thing in there starts to come out. The little thing now this one has a really interesting shift to it you see it changes like from blue to purple to kind of a pink and that is pretty cool so I um, I'm gonna use that one as an eyeshadow just gonna multitask with that all right let's move on from wet and wild I picked up a green pigment they have a few of these out now i think i own four of them now but this is the latest one i picked up with another two from the same um this one is not from this collection but they i think this came out in their halloween collection so i got the green one from there um okay other palettes let's keep it drugstore still for a minute um i went to marshall's and Marshall's had, I wanted to try this Milani thing so badly. And um, I did. This was like $2 and change in Marshall's. Um, in Marshall's, I also picked up these two Too Faced lip glosses. Uh, this is Twilight Zone and this is First Lipstick. This one is a pretty pink. And these were $5.99 a piece, guys. Also got this from, I think it was Ulta. This one's from Ulta. And it's a Shea Moisture Lip Balm. First time trying this. It's okay. It does not compare to my Jack Black, which I bought this double pack from Ulta. I dropped it. I bought the double pack from Ulta for like 12 bucks. But this is okay. Um, by the way, I also have seen these in, um, in different, I guess, flavors. Uh, there's a yellow packaging and I think a green package, I think. Anyway, it's also in Marshalls, but I didn't buy it from Marshalls. I didn't want to. Alrighty. So from Ulta, when they had their 21 Days of Beauty, I purchased the Confidence in a Cream I am liking this a lot. You can tell, look, I use it morning and night. It doesn't make me greasy, does the job. And oh my goodness, I like this. And I got a sample of the eye cream. Now I don't see the difference what the eye cream does for me, really. <laughs> but I like using it under the eyes. So I just keep using it until it, it, it gets done. But let me show you see I've been dipping in that as well I really like this don't know what it does I don't know if I'll buy the full-size eye cream because 
I just kind of put this all over my face, including under my eyes, and it just seems to work for me. So there's that. Okay. Um, I think this was also in Marshalls or Big Lots. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on this. But it's the Palmer's Coconut Oil Nourishing Balm, um, Cleansing Balm, and I've been using it. It does melt down your makeup nicely. It melts it down, then I use a wipe to remove the greasiness from my face, and then I go in and wash my face. But I like the way it melts down the makeup, so the next time I see these, if it's Marshalls or wherever, I'm gonna pick up a few more because I really like how it works. Okay, I still have a lot of stuff here, guys. One last thing, and I'm gonna cut the video and then I'm gonna do a part two because I don't know how long YouTube is gonna allow me to keep filming this, I don't know. Um, went to Walgreens and they had a few brush sets and I picked up one and I took it out of the box. Anyway, Sleek Makeup is available in Walgreens. So they came out with their holiday collection. And so the other night, I I think it was last night, I went, or night before, I went in the store and they had a brush set for $20 and I decided I was gonna grab it. And these are the brushes. This one is dirty because I used it yesterday and it works pretty good, I like it. The handles are very light, so it's not heavy, and it's a full-size handle, full-size brush, and this is, you know, I think this is meant to be a blush brush, but I use it as a powder brush. And then this, they have this dome shape foundation brush, kind of stiff, and this is another powder brush. This would be your face powder brush, but I haven't touched that one yet. And you can see, nice and fluffy. It's very soft. They are synthetic fibers. And I think that they meant this one to be like a contour brush. But you can multi-purpose your brushes for whatever you need them for, which is what I do personally. If I find that it works best for contouring or applying powder or foundation, I just use it the way I want to use it. And that's it. So this is one. And then there are only two eye brushes and this one is a shader brush. It's like flat and then a tiny little taper there. And then there's a pointed brush. This one is dirty because I use it to set, to apply shadow underneath my eye here yesterday. And it worked beautiful. It didn't scratch my eye. Very soft, very smooth. And that's the purpose. Actually, this brush is the reason why I picked up the set. All right, so I'll be right back with Part two, guys.